In the last screencast we covered how to make a simple lower thirds element to add to your Final Cut project. But if you produce multimedia on a consistent basis, it isn't efficient to uh, create a new lower thirds off of the default font and sizes as seen here. Instead, we're going to take this example here, which is uh, I believe Myriad Pro and uh, size 32 and 26 and we're going to create a template out of that to use in future projects. Now I know there are various programs such as Motion and LabTap from which you can make you know, very stylized and specific templates, but for those of you who don't have those programs, like, uh, like my news organization does not, we're going to do it in Final Cut. So first I'm going to select the, uh, the timeline, or pardon me, the lower third element that we want to copy in the timeline and I'm going to drag it over to the browser. Now the first time I do this it's going to say creating master clips. What that is is um, here it is now on the on the browser but if I double click it it has the right text but the wrong it has the default sizes and the default uh, font. I can do one of two things. I can rechange the font and size in the lower third that's in the browser or I can just simply drag it in again and if I click on that new one pardon me, that new one, uh, this has the correct font and the correct font size and what I'm going to do is um, I'm going to right click it and export it as XML. Now if you export it as a QuickTime movie uh, it will be pretty much useless because when you bring it into a new project it will be uneditable, it will be a movie clip. So we're going to export it as XML. Okay and I've, I've tried this a few times earlier just to make sure that it works. Uh, we'll call this uh, lower third template number three. And we're going to make a new project. And this is from the old project. Now you can't just um, you can't just hit command I and import it because it will uh, be grayed out and even if you show all files and try and bring it in you'll get an error message so instead you're going to go to file import XML and bring it in that way and you're going to hit OK and now this lower third is a part of this new project and I can drag it into uh, the timeline and as you see it has the uh, correct font and the correct font size and if I were to double click it and bring it up in the viewer I can then change the controls and I can put in uh, Daniel Sato uh, web editor and of course I can drag uh, you know another instance in and I can double click that one to bring it into the viewer and I can change those to um, the rigs Managing editor and so on and that was creating a lower thirds template in Final Cut uh, we're gonna go over creating a more elaborate template in the next screencast